One day, Miyaka Yuki, an average junior high school student, agreed to go to the library with her friend Yui. There she saw a fantastic vision, a bird of burning red. She followed its trail to a rarely used reference room and found a book of ancient China. The Book of the Universe of the Four Gods. Yui joined her, and as soon as they started reading the book, they found themselves in a strange and foreign world. Perhaps they were led there by the book's magical power. It's hard to say. There, they met a young man with an ogre symbol on his forehead, who helped them out of a tough situation, and then disappeared along with you. So the Lady Miyaka left for a city in the Konan Empire to look for her lost friend. The same young man was there to help her once again. However, without the Lady Miyaka knowing it, Yui had already been returned to her own world. I thought it was you. What are you doing? It's not safe here. I was scared. You're safe now. I got rid of them. You don't have to worry about that gang anymore. Oh, yeah. I heard you were looking for me. That's right, I am. Listen, you gotta tell me where my friend Yui is now. Yui? Who's that? My friend, the girl who was with me when we met, remember? She followed you, you know? Ah! <gasps> nope, don't know. Bye-bye! Ah! Hold it! Ah! Oh, I'm serious, you know. Are you trying to make a fool of me? I'm not letting you go until you give me a clue! <laughs> okay, okay, I give up. Well, are you gonna tell me? <laughs> Just tell me where she is. Where is Yui? How should I know? Stop right there! Telling me I ought to stand up and be a man. You have no right to say that. A man gets paid for his services. You can pay up or shut up. Money again? Money, money, money! Is that all you ever think about? Yeah, sure is. Huh? Oh, oh no! Don't tell me you sold Yui to slave traders! Huh? I can't believe this! You do sell girls, don't you? What? Shut up, you scoundrel! You are the lowest creature that crawls on the earth! What are you talking ah! about, huh? Get away, you human slave trader! Stop it! That's terrible. A slave trader? Did you hear that? You what a creep! He sells girls? You better get away from him! He is a heartless man. What is the world coming to? Everyone, please listen! <laughs> She's just joking, that's all. She does this all the time. Run! What do you say? Are you gonna help me find Yui? Why can't you just leave me out of it? Are you sure? Because I can start spreading that slave trader stuff again, you know? What are you doing threatening me? I swear I don't sell people! I already know that. What? <laughs> what are you doing? That hurt! You deserve it. I deserve what? To be treated so cruelly when I'm a complete stranger and have no one else to depend on? Neither does Yui. Oh, I just gotta find. <laughs> hey. <sighs> Ugh. I don't have time to mess around. It's hard work to try to track someone down, you know? Parade for. 
It's for the Emperor's visit. The Emperor? Uh-huh. See, the one riding on that fancy palanquin is none other than the Emperor of Conan. It's so beautiful! Oh, man, I wish I could have that Imperial crown, or even just one of the jeweled ornaments on it would be all right with me. So, is the Emperor really wealthy? Isn't that obvious? Is he nice, too? Well, I've never heard anything bad about him. Listen, I've decided to ask the Emperor. Huh? I'm going to ask the Emperor for one of his ornaments. Then you'll help me find Yui, right? Sure. Remember, you promised! What? Excuse me, Emperor! You up there! You're the Emperor, aren't you? Who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter. That's not important. But I... I do have a favor to ask of you. Is she crazy? Can I just have one of the jewel ornaments you wear on your crown, please? <laughs> You're rich, aren't you? So you can afford to be generous, can't you? Oh, please! Look out! Ow! That hurt! You there! You are to be punished for your assault on the Emperor! On your feet, I'll cut you apart! Sorry! Could you... could you tell me again why you want to cut me up? No OBJECTION! <laughs> Are you completely nuts? Do you want to get yourself killed or something? <laughs> I needed help! Ugh, alright, just please don't cry. I liked your gut, so I'll help you look for your friend. Do you mean it? Yeah. My name is Sokishuku, but people call me Tamahome. Tamahome? And I'm Miyaka Yuki. How can I ever repay you? Don't worry. I know how. Prepare yourselves for death! Attack now! <laughs> Try to blow the Emperor's palanquin! At once! Wait! What's this all about? A reddish light suddenly engulfed the criminals, Your Highness. A reddish light? Look at that! The female is disappearing! What's happening now? The girl was wrapped in a radiant red light, and she... It's Yui! Oh, it's you! Yui, I'm here in the library now! Great! You've come back ahead! You're safe! Look at me, Yui! I'm here! Yui! Yui! Arrest that girl now. And the young man. Quickly! Miyaka. What was... <gasps> By the order of the Emperor, the girl was arrested and put in jail with the young man. Sorry, Miyaka, you can't. Mother, I... No, it's impossible now. Mother, wait! Don't go! Ah! Uh, are you all right? Huh? Ah! Away from me. I'm gonna tell hey, you're the one who grabbed onto me and then held on tight! Oh, that's 
right, I forgot. We've been captured by the soldiers of the Conan Empire. You must have been half dreaming. No wonder you're having nightmares, lady. You've been thrown in prison for heaven's sake. Anyway, tell me now who you really are, and what's with that weird red light you were given off, huh? Fine. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. <laughs> My friend. Huh? Yui's in our own world. The other girl got home? And I couldn't make it back there. Um, don't cry now, Miyaka. You don't have to worry. I'll find a way to get you out of here. Oh, do you mean it? Well, you gave me that promise of a reward, so... Mm -hmm, dummy. Sire, we should execute that girl and the fellow with her right away. I heard the girl gave off a strange light and then almost vanished. She might be a witch, or worse. We're waiting for your judgment, sire, and your command. Calm down, please. The clothing she wears is foreign. Are you not curious about her origins? Or her purpose here? But, sire... Please listen, it may or it may not be so. But I believe that she may be the priestess of Suzaku. What? Are you saying, sire, that she is the girl of legend? Yes. Oh no, I'm just as hungry here. In fact, I'm starving. Oh. Oh. Hey, great, I have gum with me. It might help my hunger a little. Hey there! What did you just put in your mouth? What you put in your mouth? Show it to me, right now! Ah, keep that away, it's gross! You did good, kid. Really? Do you think so? It's a monster! Jeez, is everyone going crazy around here? Are you really sure that you want to give me this magnificent stuff, huh? You're not taking it back from me later, you know. Oh, brother, chill out! It's gum! Do you always have to be so stingy? Someone's coming! Uh, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Good grief! And you're the guy I'm supposed to depend on? Miyaka. What is it? Look at that. Hmm? <gasps> That's the one! The bird in the book! It's Suzaku. Suzaku? One of the four gods who guard the cardinal points. The guardian god of the east is called Seiryu. The guardian god of the north is called Genbu. The guardian of the west is Byako. And the guardian god of the south is called Suzaku. The Konan Empire has Suzaku as its guardian god. So the other three gods protect and serve the empires in each of the other directions. Anyway, the first thing we have to do is get you out of here. Like I said I would. Miyaka? Hey, where'd you go? Miyaka! <sighs> Exquisite. Oh, I'm stuffed. That sure hit the spot. And it's absolutely true that Chinese cuisine is in all the world the most delicious! Oh! Oh! The bird in Tamahumi! I've left them behind somehow! Which way? Which way? Oh, I can't remember where I came from! This doesn't look familiar! Oh no, please, I've lost somebody! Are you all right? It appears as if you could be lost. There's a gate in that direction. You could find your way out through there. Uh, thank you. Tell me, are you the one they arrested earlier? <coughs> it seems I've guessed right. They say you tried to tackle the Emperor's palanquin. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just out for a stroll and passing by. Sayonara. Don't worry, I'm on your side. I'm not going to summon the guards, believe me. You have my word of honor. 
You promise me? Mm-hmm. What an idiot! Where the hell did she go? Oh no! Hold it right there! A spy! Get him! You want to find your friend? You see, it's my fault he's involved in all this. Even if I found a way, I wouldn't go back to my own world until I know he's free. Your own world? You mean that you don't live in this realm, but you are from some other world entirely? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Rats! No one's ever going to believe me, though. In fact, they'll suspect me more. Maybe lock me up again. Fascinating. Huh? Oh, it's great! So you're from another world, huh? I want you to tell me everything about it. Do not worry, please. My name is Hotohori, though I'm not always called that. My name's Miyaka Yuki, or just Miyaka. I'm glad that it's someone like you. Mm -hmm. Is something wrong? No, no, nothing. I couldn't help thinking just how incredibly beautiful you are. People always say so. Come on, keep moving, buddy! Hurry, hide! We want the witch! Where is she? Where's the girl hiding? Uh, now start talking! Uh, who knows? Who are you trying to uh, fool, you jerk? I mean it, I really don't know. Maybe she escaped while you stupid lugs were busy chasing after me. Uh, you! Ah! Mm -hmm. Miyaka! No, don't hurt him, please! Idiot, stay away! No, wait! What do you think you're doing here, Miyaka? They'll capture you again! I can't! I can't just leave you here alone! Come ah! here, Miyaka! Listen to me! If you even touch her, I'll kick your ass! All of you at once, I swear! Stop! I command you, leave them be! No one is to touch them without my permission. Do you understand me? Oh, who the hell are you? It's... it's the Emperor! Sire! The real Emperor? Sire! Hotohori is the Emperor? Such a young and beautiful woman rules here? You imbecile! Are you blind? Can you see that the Emperor is a man? Uh-uh! Quit your yakking and get your head down now! Huh? Hmm? Hmm. Yeah, it's flat, all right. You must have man stuff down below. Stop touching him, he's the emperor! Forgive me, Miyaka. I didn't mean to deceive you. I wanted to determine your purpose and your personality. And I found out that you are not a witch at all or our enemy. So you won't hurt us? No. I gave you my word of honor. Huh? <gasps> However, I do have a favor to ask. Miyaka, will you save our Konan Empire? There is an ancient prophecy that tells of a time when the Empire is in danger of being ruined by a colossal disturbance. A girl from another world appears, and through the power of Suzaku, eradicates the catastrophe. You know, I think you've mistaken me for someone else! I'm just a junior high school student, and not even a very good one! It's a fluke I'm here! And so, you do not want the power of Suzaku. Could it be that you have nothing at all to wish for? To wish for? Who made her dreams come true after she came to possess the seven stars of Suzaku, and many powers were bestowed upon her. The story itself is a spell, and the one who reads it through will be given the powers and granted a wish just like the girl in the story. You mean if I read the book and become a heroine, my wishes will come true? I could have the body of a supermodel! All the boys will be in love with me. Be tough enough to beat up on all those bullies. All the junk food I want, any time around the clock. Oh yeah, pass any entrance exam to any high school. Hmm. And those are baby wishes, really. The entire world is yours, if that is what you desire. I'll do it! I'll do it! I'll do it! I'll take the part of the priestess of Suzaku. I do want my dreams to come true. Then let it be proclaimed. That here is the one we have waited for, Miyaka Yuki, the savior of our empire, the priestess of Suzaku! The girl consented to receive the power of Suzaku. Hundreds of courtiers paid their homage and pledged allegiance to her. 
To them, she was the savior of their empire. Miyaka Yuki, proclaimed the priestess of Suzaku, begins the search for the seven celestial warriors in order to gain Suzaku's promised power. During an exercise, a structure collapses and she and Tamahome are trapped beneath the wreckage. Just in time, they are rescued by a beautiful woman. Next time, the seven stars of Suzaku, the star of legend, is shining.